Thomas Alive to Die presents Walden Books On March 4, 1933 Lawrence Hoyt, a former sales manager for Simon & Schuster and Melvin Kafka opened a rental library with leased space inside a Bridgeport, Connecticut department store under the name Walden Book Company. The pair believed that their business would help people cope with the effects of the Great Depression. Books were lent out for three cents per day to save customers the cost of purchasing the books while providing affordable entertainment. By 1948 Hoyt and Kafka had opened 250 book rental locations. Hoyt opened the first Walden bookstore in Pittsburgh in 1962. Within 15 years the company had grown to over 250 locations and leased locations within various department stores. With the increased availability of low-cost paperbacks after the Second World War rental library services were eventually replaced with retail book selling. By the 1970s the company had sales of just under $200 million. In 1969 it was purchased by the Broadway Hale Stores a California-based department stores holding company that was later renamed Carter Hawley Hale in 1974. For the standalone bookstores the company initially traded under the name Walden Books written as two words. During the 1970s the company gradually changed its trade name to Walden Books written as a single word. In 1984 Walden Books acquired three stores that were located in upscale neighborhoods from the bankrupted Brentano's chain with the original intent of converting the stores to the Walden Books brand however Walden Books discovered that when they continued to operate the newly acquired stores is. Brentano's the new stores were generating more sales than equivalent Walden Books so Walden Books decided to continue and expand the Brentano's brand in selected upscale neighborhoods. In 1984 Walden Books itself was acquired by Kmart after Carter Hawley Hales needed to get cash to defend itself from a hostile takeover attempt. At that time Walden Books was the largest retail bookstore chain. Under Kmart's ownership Walden attempted to expand and diversify its business. In 1985 it opened a discount book outlet chain called Reader's Market by converting five existing standalone Walden Books stores. A year later Walden discontinued the discount bookstores after disappointing sales figures. Walden later tried this concept within selected Kmart stores. After terminating the discount book strategy Walden began experimenting with larger stores by opening Walden Books and more stores that included merchandise beyond books Walden Software Computer Software Stores and Walden Kids Educational Toys Stores. In 1987 Walden Books acquired the U.S. stores of the Canadian bookstore chain Coles Bookstores Ltd. and gradually converted the stores to Walden Books. By 1990 Walden Books began to convert Walden Books and more into even larger Walden Books and more books stores with a greatly expanded book selection. In 1992 Walden opened nine book superstores under the Bassett Bookshop name ultimately these stores were converted to Borders locations after the merger. Kmart expanded its bookstore holdings by acquiring Borders in 1992. At that time Kmart kept Borders and Walden Books separate but converted Walden Books Bassett stores to the Borders brand. When Kmart decided to spin off its non-core subsidiaries in 1994 Kmart merged Walden Books Brentanos and Borders to form the Borders Walden Group. At that time Walden Books had 1,216 stores in all 50 states. In 1995 the renamed Borders Group was able to buy back its stock and it was listed independently on the New York Stock Exchange. Beginning in 2004 many Walden Books locations were rebranded as Borders Express stores. Borders Group in an attempt to increase profits and lower the overall expense of their Walden Books brand also announced that it was downsizing the Walden Books chain to respond to the current competitive environment. In January 2010 200 stores almost two-thirds of the total were closed. On July 18, 2011 Borders Group filed for liquidation to close all of its remaining Walden Books and other stores. 
Liquidation commenced on July 22, 2011. On July 16, 2018 streaming service Netflix released a teaser for the upcoming third season of its hit series Stranger Things. The ad was made in the style of a 1985 mall advertisement and includes an image of a newly opened Walden Books store among its offerings. In reality the crew of Stranger Things did a cosmetic restoration of a portion of the Gwinnett Place Mall in Duluth, Georgia returning authentic signage and storefronts to the mall to represent many businesses that have since ceased to exist. I'm George Plimpton for Walden Books. The Duke of Windsor was King of England when his love for the American divorcee Wallace Simpson became more important to him than his crown. The woman he loved tells this whole story of their courtship, his abdication, the marriage, and the sensation caused around the world. Here it is, The Woman He Loved, which is the story of one of the greatest romances of our time. It's now at Walden Books. Call this number for the store nearest you. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and like.